<laughs> oh, Check is it going? We're connection. waiting. Hello, 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 hello. I think so. But it is. Yeah, you're live now. Yeah, I love okay. it. Okay, today we are talking all about goal setting and accountability. Um, sorry, we have a couple of things going on here. But we're going to show you guys a couple strategies that we utilize. Um, starting from kind of that 30,000 foot view, like big, big picture, um, down to a weekly planner. Um, and it's all in line to help you reach that big goal. Um, but first, why is it important to goal set, Christina? Yeah. Oh my gosh. Why does that I, matter? I don't know who is exactly watching all of these videos right now, but if you're anything like me or like Katie, you love a fresh new start for a year. Mm -hmm. I know that I can't wait and it's my favorite time of the year to be able to say, hey, like what am I going to change this next year? This is, let's stop and reflect. Yep. Was this last year awesome? It was in these different ways. Yep. And what's going to happen next year? I can't wait because these are the things I want to do. So putting pen to paper is so important because if you take the time and the energy to do that, you're so much more likely to actually put the effort in to get the things done to get you to those goals. Yeah. So if you're serious about the goals, you need to take time to look through them and put pen to paper, whether that's physical or on a computer. Yeah, kind of how, whatever your strategy is. I know people do vision mm -hmm. boards. Um, for us, it's kind of spreadsheets that are flexible and movable. Yeah. Um, and that works really well. If it's just writing down, whatever it is, we're going to show you our strategies, though, that we utilize. Yeah. Um, starting with the five year goal planning. Five yes. years. Five years. It seems so big. When, but it's when important. was the last time you thought about your life and what you would be doing in five years? And we could go big. We could go bigger and 10 years and everything else like that. I get a little overwhelmed, but five years, I can absolutely sit down and do that. So we've got a really simple tool that we use over here. This is something I'd be happy to share, or you can just create your own. But yeah. basically, what is the year? What is this year, next year, blah, 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 down five years? And what categories are important to you in your life? What do you want to track and measure? Mm -hmm. So for mine, I have work, money, family, health, faith, fun, and home. Because there are always things that are moving in those categories, and I want to be able to measure my progress in those things. And you need to plan your fun. Yeah. Oh that my gosh. One of my yes. favorite things about Keller Williams mm -hmm. is sitting in trainings, and they're like, "What's the first thing you put on your calendar?" And everyone's yeah. like, "Lead generation," and all of the. And they're like, "Your vacation." Yeah. Your vacation uh -huh. is the first thing. So plan your fun, but also why it's important is because, like today, you've got a baby. Yes. So certain trips mm -hmm. are not the perfect fit for today, mm -hmm. but they're great fits for two or three years down the road. Yeah. But also you've got a first grader. Yeah. So you don't want it to be too far. For me, I look at a five-year plan and I'm like, in five years, yeah, I'll have a senior in high school. So it's really important for me to look five years out because what do I want to have done with my oldest daughter before mm -hmm. she leaves the house? Like. Yeah. Oh, it's gonna be you only have but... so many summer vacations, only so many spring breaks, and you want to have fun. You don't want to just yeah. pass them by, but you also need the money to complete those yeah. trips. You also need the time. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, so that's one way that I like to fill mine out is I go through and family, first of all, I'm naming all of my children <laughs> and what age they will be yeah. in these years yeah. so that we can then kind of help define that. And uh, my littlest is nine months old. I'm going to be done breastfeeding very soon. So that's a little personal, but also totally awesome <laughs> that I'm going to be done with that and moving on with my huge. life. It's huge. Um, so yeah, so but it changes that. where you are financially too. Yeah. I mean, mm -hmm. you go from having one child in private schooling to three children in private school. That's going to be so that great. That changes what your so financial great. needs are. Like it impacts everything and it's so uh -huh. important. I personally have never sat down and done a five-year plan. This is something that I'm going to be actively doing mm -hmm. over the next week to prepare for 2022 and I'm really excited for that because um, it's just, it's new to me and I love it. I've yes. totally latched on to that. But mm -hmm. how do you take that and move it into, like I want to see the needle move in the next year. Here. Yes. And that's where our GPS comes in. So that's looking at a goal setting tool that evaluates what is your one main goal, your one yep. thing that you want to accomplish a year from now. So when I look back in December of 2022, I'm like, boom, I did it. Or, well, I fell a little short, but here's all my other wins. Yeah. 
Um, and part of the reason why I love this, do we call it the GPS, is because it's, it's flexible. It can move with you. If I get a couple months into the year and it isn't, I'm realizing that my one goal isn't actually aligning with what I really want that goal to be, I can adjust and change it. Mm -hmm. It's flexible. It moves. You're not cornered in. Of course, in life, you're, you're not with goal right. setting. Yeah. But the point of this isn't to just let your goals go because it's February and you haven't been moving forward. Mm -hmm. It's to reevaluate at that point. So the GPS looks at that one thing, your one goal, and we're going to give you examples of this, but it's one goal, three priorities for achieving that one goal, mm -hmm. and then five strat strategies yep. for handling each priority. Like, it's 15 things. Let's <laughs> dig in with an example, Katie. I love it. So let's take financial. Yes. Because um, I think that applies to everybody. So if you're, it's a great goal, I think, for any household is to increase your net worth. So let's just use a percentage mm -hmm. because that's tangible, right? Yep. Keep it simple, make it measurable. So if my goal is to increase our household net worth by 20% year to year, that's tangible. Mm -hmm. I can easily look back and reflect on where we were because we do a net worth calculator yep. um, and see how that has changed over the course of the year. My three priorities then are gonna come into categories like budget and savings, yep. right? Things yep. that I can control, my budget and my savings, my income and my salary, which can look different um, for different people. And then my third strategy is going to, or my third priority is going to be investments. Um, yes, so again, we'll just look at this real quick. Your one goal is on the top right here. Say that's to increase your net worth by um, 20%. Then it's budgeting, savings, and uh, income. What can you do to bump that income up? And then, uh, and then you're investing. Mm -hmm. So down here, and then five different strategies on each of these. Five strategies. So those. How can I like impact my budget and savings? Okay, if I get a yeah. Starbucks coffee every day. Mm -hmm. Maybe I cut that out and I move that five, six, seven dollars um, into a savings account every day. At the end of the year, you're going to be amazed at how much you have saved just by that one little change. Unless coffee is really, really important to you and you don't want to let it go, and then you save that. You keep that for yeah. yourself and you pick something else. I and feel like coffee is always getting picked coffee on. Coffee always gets picked so on. So it's maybe it's more of a need than a want in your life, and I get that, and I hear you. Yes, and but I see you. what are your areas? Where can you adjust your spending? Cut back. Exactly. Are there Amazon boxes showing up on your doorstep mm -hmm. every month? Yeah. Every day, every mm -hmm. week. Maybe we cut down that frequency just a little bit. Let it sit in your shopping cart for a week and see if you still need it in a week. That's something that I started doing. Yeah. And that has really helped. And I'm like, actually, no. Like, I, I've survived just fine. I felt found a way around that. Yeah. So. And as great of a deal as it is, do I really need to spend it? Mm -hmm. Even down to, like, I know for me adjusting where I like do I really need to hit the X dollar amount to get the free shipping yeah I mm -hmm. follow this hilarious guy <laughs> on the gram um, and he was joking he's like hey I saved ten dollars just by not trying to qualify for free shipping yeah, and I'm I like oh me. that is totally me uh-huh find the areas in your life where you can cut back a little um, just make those quality of life I mean changes that mm -hmm. again you can sacrifice a little to reach your one big goal um, so what, what that looks like for you, figure that out. Second strategy, income, salary. For us, mm -hmm. we're in a sales-driven industry. So if we want to make more money, hustle harder, right? Like, like help more families. Help more families, have more conversations, um, you know, education, all of that so that you're a better resource for your mm -hmm. clients. Um, but if that's not your situation, because we understand that, I've been in a salaried position before where it's fixed income every month. Mm -hmm. But that doesn't mean that there aren't additional opportunities for you to change your your economic standing, I guess is yeah. how I would put that. So is there a promotion that's available? What conversations do you need to have to get yourself aligned with getting that promotion? Yeah, because it doesn't just happen. You have to plan for that. Mm -hmm. what, what kind of projects can you do? What sort of, what way can you impress your bosses? I mean, there's gotta be something, but it doesn't just happen like that. Mm -hmm. Are you so handy? Handyman services are needed everywhere. Yeah. 
Um, I mean, there's just, there's so many opportunities there. So don't just sit back because you're a salaried employee and think that you can't impact mm -hmm. your annual income because you absolutely can. You may just need to brainstorm on ways to do that. Um, the third one was investing. So is that stock market? Is that real estate? Is that crypto? There's so many different mm -hmm. ways that you can go with that. If, you've, if you're a homeowner, you're sitting on equity if you've owned your house for the last year or more. Mm -hmm. um, Talk to a mortgage lender. Talk, you know, talk about getting a refi and pulling some of that equity out and making your money work for you. Yeah. Is um, it time to go buy a rental house? Mm -hmm. If you've got cash sitting around in a savings account, that's not working for you. Yeah. And with inflation the way that it is, you are losing money. So let's plug that money into something else that's going to give you a really great return. Yeah, somewhere where you're going to see a income. return. Or passive income, whether it's a return on that investment immediately passive income for the long haul mm -hmm. um, but again that is a huge way to impact your overall net worth is just by investing mm -hmm. so start having those conversations and put it on there and then brainstorm five ways that you could improve your net worth through that one priority so yeah mm -hmm. that's our GPS we love it we will yeah. happily share this document if you guys want mm -hmm. to see this fill it out again it's pretty standard get in there um, but it's super useful and then but the, you know that's the, again we're looking big picture here and these yeah. are big goals and we're trying to make it tangible yes but how what does that look in an actual week oh wait there's more oh, wait, there's, there's more, more. <laughs> so of course if we only looked at our one year plan and we didn't know if we hit that until the end of the one year that's a lot of time to go off track yeah and to not be hitting your stuff and you don't really realize you're not really looking at it that often so let's break that down even further this is something that we use here at keller williams called let's see all the screens da -da -da, da -da -da. get it in there so nice you're all here um this is called the 411 and what it does is it forces you to sit down and we do these every monday mm -hmm. we have our gps that we reference we're like yep okay cool so this is my one year plan great this is my last week's 411 i'm going to fill out a new 411 for this year again i'm going to write out my one thing on my accountability for my annual goal and then the month of um, december what am i working on here and then what are we doing this week in order to reach this month's goals in order to reach this year's goals yeah. and this is so important because you need an accountability partner with this too yeah. to be able to go over these things and it feels kind of weird to just ask like a buddy or something but you've got to start somewhere you've got to find someone Even a that spouse. is I mean it doesn't yeah I mean I, I, honestly like I love bringing your best friend in on this and yes. just doing that but if you're not comfortable, not a lot of people are comfortable talking, you know, finances and all of that, we are getting comfortable. Um, yeah. And we love it, opening that door to that conversation because money makes the world go round. Like, start having that conversation with your best friend. Start dream planning with your best friend. But if it's not your best friend or a friend, your spouse, your parent, um, find somebody yeah. who you can discuss your big plans with and then you guys can establish what you want to do in in the ter in terms of mm -hmm. accountability. Yeah. So is it discussing weekly? We meet weekly. This is my mm -hmm. accountability buddy. Yeah. We meet weekly and we discuss our plan for that week and how it's moving the needle towards our overall annual goal. Um, but if your goal is to increase your net worth by 20% year over mm -hmm. year, then turning around and meeting monthly or quarterly to make sure that you're adjusting those goals, or not adjusting those goals, but that you are attacking those priorities mm -hmm. to make that happen, it makes such a huge difference. Yeah, I'm gonna give you an example. Can I give uh, an example? Please give do. an example. <laughs> Y'all, I have three daughters. My husband and I have three little girls. Our oldest will be 13 next month. We've had a will in place for a year, so yay, we did that thing. We don't have life insurance. I should correct that. We didn't have life <gasps> insurance. Um, until I started, we started this financial ladies who lunch group, um, and that brought a financial advisor in, and month one, I was like, I'm scheduling a meeting. I scheduled the meeting at our lunch because I said I was gonna do it, yep. boom, done. And then I have held myself, every meeting, I have held myself accountable to the fact that I said that I was going to do this. And you know what? It's done. It's done. We've got <laughs> it set up. 13 years in the making. 13 years in the making. The difference is having yeah. an accountability partner. 
group for this scenario. It's a group mm-hmm. who I know come January. Well, in January, we're talking what I said I would do was all of our GPS stuff. So that's <laughs> what we're going to be talking about then. But I will absolutely have all of my, my five-year plan. My GPS is already done for my one-year plan. We go through our weekly stuff every week. But I will have that five-year plan done because I know that we are meeting and we are reviewing that in January. Net worth is done so we can yep. track that on a quarterly basis. Yeah. I mean, it just makes a huge difference when you bring other people in. It moves it from your to-do, I should do this. Mm-hmm. To I need to take action now because somebody is going to ask me about this in yeah. the very near future. And I don't want to tell them that I still have not done it. Mm-hmm. We're more accountable to somebody else than we are to ourselves. It's just a harsh reality. And if something's important to you, you will measure it, you will track it, and that is what will push you forward. Yeah. What you focus on expands. It's I a very big that. phrase that we use here in Keller Williams. It's a bold law that I believe in a thousand percent because if you want that promotion, if you want that um, new car, it doesn't have to be something tangible like that though. It doesn't have to be a thing. Mm-hmm. If you want to improve your relationship, if you want to help your kids learn something, like whatever it is that's that really important thing to you, if Do you it. focus on it, if you spend time on it, that will expand. Yeah. Give it some air. Yeah. Paying off student loans. Yeah. My, my best friend and yeah. her husband, they've been just, they've been feeling the weight of student loans for a decade. And their goal, they walked into this year and their goal was to pay off all of their student loan debt. Mm-hmm. Guess what they did? Yeah. They paid it all off. Because what you mm-hmm. focus on and where you put your energy, you make it happen. So set those goals, be diligent, and hold yourself accountable. Get an accountability buddy. Mm-hmm. Um, Somebody who will celebrate your wins with you. That is what I love about having Katie right here, is we get to celebrate each other's successes, help each other through the hard times yeah. and through the problems and you know all of that too. And we are just cheering each other on. So find somebody, find a tribe, find, <laughs> find some people around you who will celebrate your wins and help support you to those too, because it's awesome. And it makes your entire life better. And ladies, marriage, parenting, work, everything. There, there's yeah. a whole movement. Like women are supporting women. I hope you have a group of strong women around you. Um, I'm talking to the ladies, men, you're in this too. I hope you do as well. Mm-hmm. But if you don't, like reach out to us. Like yeah. there is always room at our table. I always say that. There's really not at my home table. It's small. <laughs> um, but there's always room figuratively at our table. Like we we want to be here. We want to help you um, reach your goals. So yeah. I know for me, because um, obviously I have financial goals and real estate goals and everything. And we're starting the year really strong. Mm-hmm. So Christina. Katie, what's going to happen when we meet our goals? Because that's a win. We're focusing on it. These goals are happening. You mean when I when I hit my my goals uh-huh. in yeah. like June? Like what do we do? Like what, what happens do? when I when I hit them in June? Uh huh. That's right. Early you because stop, we're right? tracking. You're done. Oh yeah, we're just you just get a coast <laughs> the rest of the year. So just done. <laughs> no. no, no, no. Step number one: when you reach your goals, not if. Note the difference there. Yeah. Language, the power yes. of language. Your brain is such a powerful tool, you guys. Like yeah. I am all about manifesting your destiny. Strong words. When yes. I reach my goal uh-huh. early, we're gonna celebrate. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. I love this. This is Christina's thing, and I am all for it. She's like, "What are you gonna do when you reach that goal? No, what's your what's your carrot that you're yeah. dangling? Are you mm-hmm. are you going on a trip?" Are you going to get a massage? Like, what is it? It doesn't have to be yeah. some, it doesn't have to be Hawaii, you know? Like, it mm-hmm. can be getting a massage or getting a new pair of shoes mm-hmm. or, you know, whatever it is. Yeah. To just, you did it. You reached the goal. Or, or taking your kids on a little vacation and and celebrating that way. Exactly. Like, all the, all the things. You but, can, yeah, you need to stop and celebrate. Ha- and have that. Have that in mind. Make that a part Write of your goal your planning. GPS. Write it down. When I reach this goal, this is what we're doing. Mm-hmm. And then do it. Mm-hmm. But also, keep going. Mm-hmm. When you reach that goal, if you reach that goal early, make that goal bigger. Or add another goal. Don't stop just because you reached the goal. Well, and you've proven to yourself that you can do it. In this goal, let's say it's my net worth and like, oh my gosh, like I made really good strides in this. I did the savings. I did the extra income. I did what I needed to do. 
what's next? Yeah. Like, am I going to run a Spartan race next? Am I going to run an Ironman next? Am I going to go, like, what? what's the next? Or am I going to go buy a rental house? Yeah. Or am I going to go, like, it, but it, it doesn't have to be in the same category as no. income. Do it with health and fitness. Do it with your family. Do it with, you know, something else. To, to be brave and go try something. And honestly, yeah. like you can have a, a one goal, like it's great to have a financial goal about one thing that you want to accomplish. I think that's huge yeah. for households, um, setting that mm-hmm. one financial goal. But honestly, like I do a personal goal as well. And on, mm-hmm. on my personal goal is I'm doing my first Spartan race in May. Um, and that will absolutely happen. And there are absolutely strategies behind how yeah. I need to get myself uh-huh. able to complete a Spartan race in May. Mm-hmm. Um, but even family, like being so intentional with your time, because when you're someone like me, you realize I do, I've got five years, five and a half years with my oldest daughter in the house. Like that is going to go by like that. Cause the first 13 have flown by. So what do I, I want to be intentional with that time. I want weekly family dates. I want a date mm-hmm. night a month with my kids, like plan, use these strategies for different faucets of your life so that again when you turn around and you look back at your year in December of next year you're like wow look at all that I accomplished yeah and celebrate the year Mm -hmm. and then get excited about what you're going to do next Mm -hmm. year and the amazing thing is even if you set a really big goal if you don't quite achieve that you're still going to come I I uh, love the saying Shoot for the moon. Even if you miss, you're still going to land among the stars. Like, right. go big and go for it. And don't be afraid to just take that chance and put it out there. Like, what do you really want? Yeah. And go for it. Mm-hmm. You'll be surprised. So we're here cheering you guys on. Thank you for watching. We yes. hope you got something from this. And uh, let us know if you want any of these tools. Yep. We'd be happy to email them over to you and share. Or if and you need a cheerleader, we're here. Yeah, absolutely. If you yeah. want somebody to share your stuff with, we would love to hear about it and uh, and be there for you. That's it. So. And that's it before Christmas. Have yeah. a very Merry Christmas. And... I think we'll see you guys in the new year. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Mm-hmm. We'll see you guys Fresh, in 2022. Brand new year. Mm-hmm. All right. Bye guys. Thanks, guys.